Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a soft, mature cataract with anterior subcapsular fibrous tissue. The patient is a 22-year-old one-eyed man and the patient is having a retinal detachment. We can see whitish glow that is because of the retinal detachment. My plan is to do this surgery, cataract surgery and then hand over the case to vitro retinal surgeon. Now let us observe this surgery. By this time all the incisions have been made and now an air bubble is injected Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. And we can see a wrinkling of the anterior capsule because of contraction of the underlying fibrous sheet. And the anterior capsule is adherent to the subcapsular fibrous tissue, fibrous sheet. My, my plan is to try to do a rexis of about 5 millimeter but see watch the extension of the fibrous tissue it is more than 6 millimeter so if I go beyond the fibrous block fibrous tissue I have to do a rexis of about 7 millimeter or 8 millimeter. That is not possible because of the journals will get, will come on the way. So I am just trying to s do uh, separate the capsule from the fibrous tissue. I didn't know that this can be tried and thanks to Dr. Bharti Megur who posted a video where he did this kind of surgery, removal of the subcapsular fibrous sheet and doing a rexis, smaller rexis than the fibrous sheet. So I'm trying the same and trying to do a rexis of about five or around five millimeter. I'm using a needle and the utrita forceps both to do a rexis over the fibrous sheet. Here the rexis is firmly adherent in some places to the uh, in the capsule is firmly adherent to the underlying fibrous tissue. So I cannot do this. So I did this. This is good. I've got a large opening here. And this is also good. This will not tear off. I have to cut it. I take Vana scissor. cut it here and then try to do this rexis but probably yes this is small and this is not good I have to make a larger rexis and see the fibrous tissue is so tough 
and it is still attached all around to the anterior capsule. So intermittently I am injecting visco and I am thinking what to do. Here I have taken the needle again and I am going to cut the capsule here and erase a tag and again I inject again I use the iterator and this time I could do a rexis and size of this rexis is about five or maybe four point five millimeter. And now my plan is to separate the capsule from the underlying fibrous tissue. I'm using the tip of the uterator forceps. Uh, here I could go beyond the yes I could get the edge and bring it uh, here I'm again dissecting the anterior capsule from the fibrous sheet so almost half of the sheet is detached from the capsule and it is it has come to the center here I am planning to go beyond the fibrous sheet and pull it back but I could not do this and the fibrous sheet has folded and it has become very tough now to separate it from the anterior capsule but I am not going to give up so easily unless the anterior capsule get torn so my plan is to try and try and try injecting some more visco And now as I pull here I find that I have to if I pull it vigorously the journey will, will get torn. So I give off this side. And now what to do? But I'm not going to give up so easily. I'm going to continue trying. Injecting. I find a opening here. So I take the Havana scissor. pass on blade of the Vana scissor through this opening and cut this tissue and now 
taken this needle trying to make some more opening and somehow pull it and here it is it has come out from this side and as I go like this nicely it is coming out I didn't think that it will be so easy uh, almost the whole fibrous plaque is detached only one point at 8 o'clock it is still attached to the anterior capsule and this can be managed easily by the uterita forceps So inject visco, take the utrita, hold the plug and remove it. And it is coming out in total. This is a very thick fibrous sheet. And now rest of the job is very easy. You just have to there is no nucleus basically. The patient is a twenty two year old man and you can just aspirate the lens matter. whole thing has got separated from the posterior capsule and I have asked for the FACO handpiece with only 30% ultrasonic energy 300 vacuum and 30 fluoride and here it is it comes just by aspiration. I didn't have to use any artesanic energy in this case. The other eye of the patient is having total retinal detachment with atrophic retina and the eye has no perception of light and this eye has hand movement visions and perception of light and projection of rays present in all four quadrants so we are trying to do our best for this patient but because of retinal detachment I could not do a proper biometry for this eye and the other eye is also having retinal detachment so I have kept this eye aphakic after aspirating the cortex just close to the wound. My plan is to implant an intraocular lens once the retina settles and we can do a proper biometry. At the time if the anterior capsule capsular rim and the posterior capsule gets fused and if we cannot open up I'll implant a multipiece lens in the sulcus and this has happened in this case this patient is having some fluid misdirection and the antechamber has become shallow but still some depth is there to work on and here it is the cortex has been nicely cleaned and you can see that the anterior capsular rim all around and the size of the rexis is about 4.5 to 4.75 millimeter and quite good rexis for this eye I didn't expect that this rexis will be possible. Uh, 
now I am going to refer this patient to a veterinary surgeon. The surgeon will take up this case after three days. Once the wounds get nicely closed, I'm not going to put any suture to the wound. If necessary, the retinal detachment surgeon will put. I hope it will not be necessary because the RD surgery is going to be done after three days. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in managing such cases.